Hey, what's up guys? It's Listar back with another Fallout 4 video. Today's video, we are over here at the Memory Den. Just cleared out Fort Hagen last time. And we're gonna head on in here, talk to Dr. Amari. Get this main quest progressing along. Go search Kellogg's brain. Well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the... May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey. In the last episode, we also hit our... Hit max affinity, or max level, with Piper. So you got the Gift of Gab yes. perk, which Wait, basically gives you increased You're XP for passing speech checks What's this all about? and discovering new locations, which is okay, but um, I really just wanted to, I needed to get max affinity with a, with any of the companions um, for the achievement, and then we just dismissed her. Um, we need your help, Doctor. Yeah. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this, this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Omari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. Fine. So do we. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant but could that's... fit him. An incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to Don't his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit If down. I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be done. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of That's it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we, we used to... both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions and he'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. When you do this the first time, you don't quite realize what you're doing. But you're, you're basic, when you're wandering through Kellogg's memories, you're wandering through Nick's brain. You're looking at Kellogg's memories that are in Nick's head. It's really weird. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one 
that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. You don't actually have to watch these. You can just, like, whoop. Remember, you and just are experiencing keep on these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking well, for. Well, all except for the last one. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? I found another memory to track. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of breath. I don't feel I need to uh, sit and watch all these. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. I don't even need to watch this one. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? Virgil. As in? He's gone rogue. Name's yep. Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. I feel like this dialogue and uh, stuff is really glitchy. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Can I take these magazines? That's a good one. Hello. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not right, but... Can I can I get out, please? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? Really? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? 
Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Bye. If anything like this had ever happened before... If anything like this had ever happened before, I'd never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding someone in the glowing sea wasn't gonna be any picnic. But I never expected an Institute egghead to give me so much trouble. Can I leave? Oh my god, let me out. What the frick? What's going on? I'm gonna reload it. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had to... Come on, Nick. No time. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're on the railroad. We need your help, Doctor. I... All right. Oh, please. please. Nick, this. Here's. What I could What's the? That... Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Go on, Doctor. Mr. But don't. Hey, I appreciate you. Could... Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit If down. I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be done. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static, I. Can't make sense of any of That's it, That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are in code. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have... Let me... We... He la... All right. Let's get started. Just sit down. See you on the other side. All right, let's try this again. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, oh, you such are a dummy. experiencing these Mom memories knew how as it was. This may prove she wasn't soft, but uh, this doesn't she seem loved to be what they're looking for. In her way, and she protected there me from that. There appears to be another intact memory the thing about to you in I was the worst secrets. thing that ever happened to her. There, let's keep. If she'd never met me. I'll connect you to the next she'd intact stay in the memory. Hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't.
kill people for a living. Probably been happy. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Try. I'll connect you. I didn't care where I was going. Well, we seem ended up to be mostly closer. wandering east. Try this next one. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Mr. Kellogg. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. Getting warmer. I kind of ran out of got road. To tell us something. Plus, we are running out of brain. I come to terms with life. Uh, I wasn't going to be stupid. Oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. I was now the Institute's now. main opera. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okay, don't screw up this time. This whole that setup in Diamond son? City was part of some this elaborate to be plan a very of the old memory. man's. So Seems obvious now news, that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted <clears throat> me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Alright. Oh boy. Piper has really done it this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but... Mayor, you can always keep confusing me at the time. I probably shouldn't have used, uh... Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Spend, we're gonna spend 30 minutes wow. doing this shit. Some heads are gonna glitching. roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay, it worked this time. Finally. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done How this How do you before. feel? I'm okay, doctor. That's good. Are you? We got what we needed. Yeah. Right? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need You're to right. find him. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? 
The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Vert... If you're going to go... I'll find a way to get through the rads. Good luck. Mm -hmm. By the way... Alright, there's a level up. Yes. All right. Amari. You're the contact H222 is talking about? Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger. The patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. We talked quite a bit about you before I administered the anesthetic. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity. Now, what's your plan for moving him? We have to use the original route. There's no other That's way. That's the plan? I thought you people valued discretion. But fine. I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? I'm leaving H-222 them. and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was Before never here. Leave, take the holotape on the table. It's a personal message for your ears only. Ooh. Who are you? Hey, stay back. You know what, bruh? Chill. Yeah, whatever. The doc said I got some sort of contagious disease or something. I I'm under quarantine. Who are you? Hey, stay back. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Actually, can't I just talk to dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get up to the Pridwin. So we can find... Oh, let's uh let's use that level up. Cambridge Police Station. Must have stamped a whole case of ammo holding this site. I suppose that means we missed all the fun. Now we got all the Brotherhood of Steel soldiers here. sense of humor. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Don't you have some trash to hunt down? Dance. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. All I want to know is when I can get up there. I felt the same way the first time I saw it, too. We call our ship the Pridwin. 
She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the, roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. You can relax now. Reinforcements have arrived. Damn it. hostile during the flight I suggest you put it to good use make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting we don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals yes sir the Commonwealth looks different from up here doesn't it it never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air we're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. There 40 FPS. Look at that FPS drop. We're on fire yes. approach to the airport. Goodwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Roger, Dodger. strong. I think we'll just do that really quick. There While we're over here. Is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. I'm ready to steal all your fusion cores. <laughs> <clears throat> There you go. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. 
And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our ranking. Yes, present. we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your Thank charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. What are you talking about? Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. Oh, he's not shiny. He seems to think Look you'll make that. a fine addition. For one time. You might expect an endorsement like that to yes. grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think Understood. they are. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not Until yet. Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are... Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest uh -huh. dismissed, Initiate. I'm like the only Initiate that works, has a set of power armor. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Hello, sir? Brothers and sisters. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty, Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without Now that question. the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer, known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the They are the experimenting surface. with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute history. scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom they bomb. call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as this a human being. notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly and dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! If it was up to me, I'd take every feral mutie and synth and shoot them into space. If it looks dead, Elder. put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the I chance? care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save exactly. them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the brother. And he concludes... ...that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new Welcome orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Alright. Now we steal all of the fusion cores. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. 
Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxon and Paladin Dance. Why can't I talk to you now? Look out there. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, bro. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't I fix can it. I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire. <laughs> got it. There it is. Thanks. We can me. talk shop after you've fully checked in with Elder Max and the Paladin Dance. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. Come find me when you're done checking in with Maxon and Dance. Carry food. Hold on, let me just you'll end up let me just take everything. Questionable things to stay alive. You guys don't need it. You got plenty of stuff. Alright. Night. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? I was very impressed. Exactly. Mm. I did not. Uh -huh. I won't let you down. Dave. Good. Mm. Now, mm. since I sounds good. Let's go. Out. I really should have my armor adjusted while I'm here. I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot. It leaves that memorable ozone smell. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Hey, walking away like that is just plain rude. Proctor. Uh. So, you're the new recruit, I Sounds like you're disappointed. Uh, not dis right. Anyway, my name is Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Play. Actually, you seem to be getting around. Anyway, there's a Okay. I highly recommend leaving some of that equipment behind. Step forward, Knight. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the, mm -hmm. the good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could. You need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. Remember, come find me when you're done meeting the rest of the crew. In my experience, hot shots and big. Ooh. Mouths. End up with the container I can nice. dump. Yeah. Why are you yelling, Nora? I think you're confusing me with some. Hmm. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. Ah, un unfor Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be. I'm all and it in it. Okay. Hello, kitty cat.
Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Where are you going, Knight? You need to complete your medical exam. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you're back. Good. Indeed. Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going first as a ch There wasn't that much radiation. Biff. You, you yeah. any Okay. Have you never been seriously sick in my life? Good. Yeah. Have you No, never have. Very well. Indeed. Last if my life's in danger, I'll do whatever. That's I see if you will. Alright. Beautiful. You. Me to follow him to the gates Can I help you with anything? I'd be the first one to kick the. Let ball. me see what you have. Be my guest. Thank you, sister. You know, we wouldn't have to worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced... Ad soldier. Victorium, sister. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse. Didn't you want to hear about my experiment? No. Never forget. You are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it in the... Dr. Ingram said she needed the suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. It just... What if we miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. You know. Good. Uh, firing! All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. Scuttle the ship. Thanks, initiative. Sure. Anytime. Thank God. Nice. Yes. Reporting that garbage, you're going to slow us down. You know what? I don't care. Okay. Wait, is he my companion? Don't get smart. You want to see the Brotherhood's greatest warship brought down by? All right, all right. Just don't tell Ingram. Okay. But there's a reason. Food's not allowed near the instrumentation. Move, dance. Do I have any more? I can't believe super mutants were human ones. How could science have gone so wrong? Where do you want me? Hey! What do you want? I think it's time we split the team. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I think this is a foolish decision. But it's yours to come back alive, so... I don't want you. I don't need your help. Remember, we're out here representing the Brotherhood. The Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Alright, Tegan. You ready to buy some junk? Or not junk. If you run into any sense, shoot Excuse yourself. me! What brings you to me today? Why are you yelling, Nora? I'm looking for some firepower. Be my guest. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Oh, crap. Since are the worst. They hide in plain sight. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. So we're up to 455. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells. All right. <clears throat> Welcome aboard, sister. Keep this party moving. Uh. 
and deltas at 100%. Secondary. Three deltas standing by. All right, we got to go back to... Uh, we're going to go back to Sanctuary, drop off our junk, and then we'll come back and get this going. Let's jump back to Sanctuary. What is my... Seventy four and it's increase it's going up, okay. Jesus, look at all the junk. I think I can put a, uh, I think I can put the targeting HUD on here. I just need circuitry. Faster if you kept your eyes on the Piper. God, even the sky ain't safe. Did you see that blimp thing? The Brotherhood Ooh. of Steel? Who are they? Holy shit. That is smart. <laughs> Helmet. Oh, alu adhesive, adhesive, aluminum, and copper. Adhesive, aluminum, copper. Adhesive, aluminum, copper. I think I can do that. <laughs> So, adhesive, uh, aluminum, I need adhesive, Oh, I could de- I could- well, I need armor ranks. But, once I get the armor ranks, we could easily go up. Increase the strength. Automatically uses a stim pack when your health gets low. Um... The legs, we want to do, like, calibrated shocks. Yeah. Really, I just need a- I need a power armor stand. Power armor station. 
at my settlement, but I don't have the armor rank. Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open. All right. I like it. Where's this at? Under the Malden Center. All right. Well, let's go. Um, let's split the episode here. Actually, do I have? I have a doctor, don't I? Right. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Oh. Should probably put on something. Hi. I can change your face for you. No, 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 no. Not today. Yeah, I wouldn't. My onboard functions are operating. No, no, I, I want um. I need a doctor to cure my addictions. Or whatever they are. I guess I have. I probably have a dick doll that would cure it, but. Right? Do I have an addict doll? Yeah. Cure all addictions. I could just do that. Cool. Alright, guys, we're gonna call that episode here. We're gonna split it. And yeah, we'll pick up in the next one. I think we're going to do maybe a few just like, maybe we try and work on more railroad stuff. I think, yeah. Really, I just, I only wanted to get to the Pridwin so I could have, um, one, the fast travel point down here. And two, um. Proctor Tegan. And the free fusion cores. Um, so yeah, we're gonna split it here. The next episode, I think we'll go over here to, uh, the Malden Center and do that. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode.